What's up, Rowan here, and today we are going to dive into a concept called touch. If you don't know what touch is, take a look at the article I linked below in the description over on Ulti World. That's gonna kind of bring you up to speed on the important touch. There are certain instances where we wanna throw it a little bit slower, a little bit faster, and everything in between. So today I'm gonna to take you through three drills to develop more touch on your throws. All right, the first drill to develop touch, especially on the forehand, is to bring your teammate in really close, one or two yards, no more, and all we're gonna do is throw it to them. When we're throwing short range flicks, the tendency is that they come out too fast. So here we're gonna start high and drop our elbow a little bit as we go through the throw to keep the disc spinning, but also moving a little more slowly. Okay, and again, for this drill, we can get as close as one yard. The second way we can put touch on a throw, instead of dropping our hand, which is a little more uncommon, is to pull back as we release to create more spin, but less miles per hour. Now, while we won't throw it so much like this in a game, the ability to control the speed and spin relationship is really important. Now that we have the short range throws down, we're gonna go to the second drill, and that's mix and match. So now we're gonna go about 15 yards back, just a normal throwing distance, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate throwing as slow as possible and as fast as possible. The slower throws, are gonna be a lot of snap back, giving the disc that spin, and the faster throws with less touch are gonna be that full follow through. Let's begin. Looking at these forehands, this is how we put touch on in a game. We don't snap back like the short range drill, or drop our shoulder too much. What we do is we wind up a lot and get the power in the backswing and then snap on your release without following through. That's gonna get that spin and slow the disc down a little bit. All right, now we're on our third drill. We're gonna have our receiver go back 30, 40, even 50 yards away. You know you're doing this correctly when the disc kind of stops and circles down before your player catches it. Throwing hucks with touch allows your receiver to run onto the disc out in front where the defender's trailing. It's also a little easier to put touch on a longer throw because naturally the friction in the air is gonna slow the disc down so it continues to spin but kind of slows up. Anyways, I highly recommend putting touch on your throws, mixing and matching speeds depending on the wind, the shape of your cutter, and a million other variables. These drills here are to help you develop the touch. It's up to you to decide on when to use each speed and spin in a game. Take care.